In this docu-series, we'll be talking with homeless people, and we'll also be speaking with the former homeless coordinator of Hattiesburg, Kim Townsend, who was gracious enough to give me some of her time, and talk about things that homeless people are going through, things that can help them, things that have helped them. My aim here is to spread humanity and love and to show that each person has a story. And so I ask that as you watch these next few videos that I put out, you lead with open hearts and open minds and not be judging because each of us could be in these situations. I look forward to putting out this next couple of videos for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. I appreciate y'all all for being here. And let's get into it. What's up, guys? So right now I am going to the homeless camp that I uh, had put on my YouTube the other day. It's a homeless camp that I had been looking after, not looking after, looking at really, for probably the last six or seven months or so, because it's on this on my route on my way to work, and uh, I see it just every day because they have a cross, like a made out of sticks or wood, twigs or whatever, limbs. Um, that is put in front of like the opening to the camp. It's like a Christian Jesus cross. Um, so I just I noticed that and then I noticed that I could see like tents in there and bicycles sometimes and people sometimes and you know I've always had like uh, I guess empathy for the homeless and stuff like that so stuff seeing stuff like that I, I, I attended intended to want to go and um, take these people food or do something one one day but I finally got the opportunity this week but you know this is a perfect time to go and do this thing that I've been thinking about and um, document it share their story with people uh, whether it be local or just here on YouTube to my 60 whatever subscribers I still like getting uh, the story of the homeless out there because it just shows that like no matter where you are in life everyone has a story that's why I got you know, spoons on my uh, channel with the meeting a homeless man in the woods videos, those three videos. Um, I got Gregory Mitchell where I went and tried to interview him uh, with the sound messed up, you know, but I, I, I also, you know, whenever I was younger, we would do stuff with this um, program called Beautiful Feet Ministries in Fort Worth, Texas, and we would go into homeless camps and bring them food and stuff. And then whenever I was like 15 or 16, me and a group of friends who liked to skateboard and cruise around and stuff like that, we went to downtown Dallas and we all took money from, you know, we had our first jobs or whatever, or maybe some of them's parents gave them some money or whatever. And we pulled our money together and bought like 50 or 60 McChickens and went and passed them out to the homeless and whatnot. So yeah, uh, I've always liked doing stuff like this. It's always been close to my heart. Homeless people are always, um, have just had a place in my heart for them and so today I'm excited to be doing this uh, the plan is to first I'm gonna stop by there and see who's all gonna be there and then I'm gonna go over to Taco Bell and buy like 10 burritos or whatever and then I'm gonna grab some water from Walmart or maybe I'll do that first so the burritos are warmer grab some waters from Walmart uh, one gallon drugs so it's easier for them to carry around versus a bunch of water bottles um, yeah so and it's less trash trash so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to the camp all right I just stopped and checked on the um, camp to see if people were there there was one guy who was there um, well that well I kept calling out and said is anyone home anyone here you know that sort of thing and I uh, wasn't getting anything for a second then one guy popped up out of the tent and said hello Hey, what's up, man? Blah, blah, blah. And um, anyways, he said that there's about 10 people there, so I gotta go get some food for about 10 people. I don't know why I'm going this way. Why the fuck am I going this way? And you know what? It makes sense that I'm going this way, actually. Yeah, I was good. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get food for about 10 people, come back, see if they're up for talking, interviews, um, whatever. And we'll go from there. What's up, guys? I'm here at a, a homeless camp here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. It's right off of the corner, or not so much the corner, but close to 49, which is a highway, and 11, which is another highway in the city. Um, 
I came to this camp earlier in the week and met a woman named Cricket and told her that I'd be coming back this weekend and bringing some Taco Bell and some water jugs uh, to feed them. I came back by before I went to Taco Bell today and spoke with another man, I don't know his name, and he said there's about 10 people here. Uh, so I got about 14 burritos, you know, I don't have tons of money, but I wanted to be able to feed them and give them a meal today. Got some jugs of water, got some jugs of water, and yeah, so I'm going to go in there. My plan is to find out what it's like living in, living in homelessness, struggling with everyday problems, and, you know, just getting to know the people a little bit more. There's, um, Cricket was a woman, so I want to know more about, about like, the woman's struggles, being homeless, and everything along those lines. So. Let's go in. I'm gonna go ask if it's cool if I come in still. Uh, I think everyone's inside the tent because it's gonna be drizzling. But we'll see what's up. I'm gonna go in and see. Excuse me, is anyone home? I brought some Taco Bell and some uh, water, some water jugs, and some trash bags because Cricket was asking for some trash bags earlier this week. Hey guys, is anyone home? Is this a good day? Bad day? Uh, I brought some some Taco Bell burritos and some water, uh, some gallons of water jugs. Even though I had stopped and asked the dude who was there earlier before I went and bought Taco Bell and water if there was people there, I realized when I got back from doing that that one, there was a bicycle that was there when I had asked that was no longer there, so he was gone. And from calling out multiple times, no one answered me, I came to the conclusion that nobody was actually at this camp. It was beginning to rain, so I put everything at the entrance to the uh, camp right there on this little ledge and decided to call it a day. Hey, excuse me guys, I set some water here on this uh, front entrance log. Um, I set some Taco Bell here and some cups for y'all to drink the water with if anyone's here. Uh, I spoke with a lady named Cricket on Wednesday. She said y'all um, would be here this weekend and I could bring some food, so I just wanted to do that. I got some water here, um, four gallons. Would love to, you know, chat and hang out for a bit if y'all are willing. But if not, that's cool too. Just say go away. Alright guys, I don't think it's going to happen today. Um, I think I saw the dude that told me to come by riding his bike back um, down the other way that I was coming from. So I don't think he's here anymore. I wonder if that was the only dude, but they did say 10 people. He said 10 people, so I don't know if he's, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is go to this place called the Field House, which is not far from here. Uh, a couple people from the community I asked um, about if or I, if there were some homeless resources that people knew about or places or whatever and a lot of people mentioned the field house also the other day um, Cricket said that she knew uh, or she went to a church by the field house so I'm assuming that that's an area where they can get a lot of help and uh, talk to people meet to people I don't want to be done with this today I drove all the way into town which is like 40 minutes for me and um, yeah I, I really want to be able to see if I can feed these people um, or at least let them know that I have food here and they can come back to it. Um, 
Yeah, let me let me try one more time. Let's, let's see. She said that she was wanting to pick up trash and stuff, so I brought trash bags right here. Um, hope that that helps. I told her I'd come by here and uh, pick up the trash bags if she didn't have a place to drop it off. Okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, just leave all this stuff here, I guess. Unless someone's willing to come out and say what's up. Um, love to chat. Love to, you know, get some more insight on um, the problems being faced and everything. So if you could come out, love to chat, have some burritos with you or whatever. Unless no one's here. Is anyone here? Well, no one was there, I don't think. Not a single soul was there. Um, and so I decided not to leave this hot, good food there. So what I'm gonna do is just go around town. You know, there's uh, lots of homeless people riding on bikes, walking or whatever. I'm gonna try to hand out burritos to them. Uh, I'm gonna go by the field house. Um, the field house is a place that uh, homeless people can go get help at and everything. So I'm gonna see if I can bring some food and maybe there's people there that could use this. Um, yeah, sorry it didn't work out how I had planned it to, but it's not over yet. I'm leaving the water in the trash bags here with the cups so that they have water, and then I'm going to go check out the field house. Alright guys, so um, it didn't work out with the homeless camp. I didn't get to do what I was wanting to do, but I did uh, go to this place. It's uh, Well, that's actually not even the name of it. That's a furniture truck, but I guess they donated it to them, but this is the field house. I went and I just gave the 15 burritos to them to let them feed anyone. Um, it was kind of like they had security at the front and then the person you checked into and all that stuff, so I couldn't really go in and meet anyone. Sadly, excuse me, sadly, um, but I'm not done with this documentary. I want to do this. I want to make it happen. Um, so I'm gonna try to talk to people on the streets, I guess, homeless people on the streets. I'm gonna try to go back to that camp this week. I'm gonna bring my camera with me and everything. Um, yeah, I left the water and all that stuff there at the camp for them, so maybe they'll see that and appreciate that. Um, I hope that I'm able to get a story out of this, get to learn something about the homeless population here in Hattiesburg and figure out like what's bringing that um, upon them and like what they're going through and everything like that. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this hopefully I can stop and talk to people on the street and that'll be enough people but I don't know we'll see I might go drive around and see if I can talk to someone today for the next like five ten minutes to see if I see anyone but it's raining as you can see so most people are actually he was saying that a lot of people are in the shelter right now because of the rain the guy at the front desk there uh, but I left the burritos with him he's gonna pass them out um, yeah so I tried Right now I'm just taking some pictures of the camp.